I like the tangible quality that comes with sculpting. It's something you can walk around and feel and touch. You know, a painting is pretty on the wall, but I need to, I need the satisfaction of the, being able to handle it and touch the piece. I'm Anthony Holland of the Tuck and Holland Studio and Gallery, and our specialty is making custom weather vanes. Some of the earliest recorded weather vanes was um, in Greece, in Athens, actually, and it was of uh, the Triton. In history, the Vikings used it on, on ships for sailing purposes, primarily. It was before the Weather Channel, basically. People could get an idea of the, the weather patterns and, and, you know, what you could expect. Everything starts in a flat sheet of copper. It's just making a really good set of patterns and that just takes time and years to develop that skill. You cut out the paper patterns of that and transfer it to the copper sheet. You use a process called annealing where you heat it up to a, a red hot and quench it and the copper becomes very soft and malleable and that's a lot of times where the color comes from. And then everything gets shaped on basically there's a couple wooden blocks we've had for 20 years. so. Everything in here can get done on, on simply three blocks of wood. It's a technique called repose, which is, literally means to hammer from behind in French. It's the same way the Statue of Liberty was made. It's just the, the thought process of how far you can you know, push things and what will bend and what won't bend with the copper and whether you need to re anneal it and soften it again and try to work it continue to just slowly shape it. It's just a slow, tedious process of making things fit together. It's a really disciplined job. To create a sculpture, you need to think about all aspects of, of looking at it from every angle to the finished product, you know, what, what the, the, the material is, how you can shape each piece. I love to, yeah, design things. You can actually make something, you know? You, you can come up with an idea and say, I can make that and you can go out and make it from metal to wood to whatever it is and that's a fantastic thing. It means the world to me to be a sculptor. I've been a sculptor for the majority of my life.